Hi there, this is uh, Dr. Kanag Raj. Uh, I'm going to uh, give you a demo uh, about the how to prepare the cell culture media. The cell culture media, uh, there are various kind of cell culture media which is uh, uh, available. Uh, one is uh, uh, Dalbicos Modified Eagle Media, that's a DM medium. Or otherwise, uh, we can use uh, RPMI, Russell Park Memorial Institute, uh, 1640, uh, and the McCoy's media, and a various combination of media uh, which is available. Uh, we are going to uh, make the media. Uh, today is uh, we are, uh, RPMI, 1640. Uh, this is the media. You can uh, commercially uh, get it from the company. Uh, this one is we got it from the high media. Other companies like uh, Sigma Outreach, uh, uh, Thermo Fisher and then other companies are also supplying this kind of media there are loans are you can get it so this kind of powder uh, it will be cheaper you can uh, prepare at your laboratory itself your, your own media um, here um, so this media is comp uh, composed of a lot of uh, uh, amino acids uh, salts uh, and vitamins uh, that's a combination of the they make it as a lyophilized powder so once uh, they make it as a powder, we can put it on the uh, water. This is a sterile water, uh, that uh, uh, distilled water. Basically, it's ultra pure distilled water. Uh, we have to make it as autoclave or as the sterile water. You can get it out. Filtered water, you can get it. Once uh, uh, the water uh, is ready, so you can uh, make dissolve this uh, media. Just cut up uh, on the media. So you can pour in that uh, media so you can uh, better to have the forceps you can make it uh, open and then pour it so you can turn on the magnetic stirrer don't turn on the heat so here so you can pour it gently so they will start to dissolve so while dissolving without sodium uh, bicarbonate it will look like a yellowish color the media start to form yellowish color. So rest of the powder, so it stays inside the packet. So you can wash uh, one more time using the uh, good water. So you can wash it. Simply take it and then put it back. Once uh, put it everything, they make it clear whether it's uh, um, uh, you dissolve everything or otherwise you can put it a little bit of more water so you can uh, dissolve it properly and then pour it back again to the water so once uh, all of them dissolve it look like a yellowish color this one is uh, take a few minutes to dissolve in the meantime you can uh, weigh that uh, sodium bicarbonate so this uh, media composed of uh, um, uh, the, the buffering agents like uh, 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 sodium bicarbonate and then sodium pyruvate, other uh, nutrient components is there. Um, uh, and also it has the HEPs double buffering system. Uh, it will the cells uh, uh, making more acidity. That's why this uh, RPMI we are using double buffering system. So HEPs are already mixed in this media. So no need to add it. But we need to add that uh, sodium bicarbonate. So this sodium bicarbonate, uh, we have to weigh it. Uh, uh, approximately, we can um, uh, that the company recommendation is uh, should be two uh, uh, gram per liter. So we we can use it uh, uh, two gram and then weigh it and then put it on the uh, media. So we are weighing that. So now the sodium bicarbonate is ready. So we, we used 1.7 uh, 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 gram, so approximately. It's, uh, but it's, uh, recommendation is 1.7 to 2 uh, 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 gram per liter. So we are, we are going to add this uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate directly uh, to the media. So the media, the color is now has become a, um, a, a, a reddish color. So that indicates it's, uh, it's making this uh, uh, pH is uh, around uh, uh, 7, uh, 7 point, uh, 3 to 7.4. We need to check before uh, uh, making the media, we need to check the pH. 
So we are going to check the pH now. Once this is dissolved, we are going to check the pH. The pH is essential for the um, uh, cellular um, uh, growth. So the physiological pH we have to maintain. The physiological pH uh, should be 7.3 to 7.4. We have to adjust the pH before we are going to uh, filter uh, the media or use the media for the cell culture. So the pH is uh, showing this uh, um, 6.93 uh, uh, 6.93. So we have to adjust the pH as uh, 7.3 to 7.4. Uh, so we, we can uh, we need to improve the pH or increase the pH. We have to uh, uh, add uh, sodium uh, uh, hydroxide. Uh, probably we can use it 0.1 and sodium hydroxide uh, uh, that will be increase the pH. So uh, we are going to add sodium uh, hydroxide solutions in this uh, uh, media. Uh, we can adjust and then we have to check it back uh, uh, again to this pH meter. Once the pH is adjusted 7.3 to 7.4, we are ready to filter this uh, media. Please. So we are going to adjust the pH. Uh, Using sodium hydroxide, we have to directly add it uh, into the media, drop by drop, uh, approximately 1 ml or 2 ml, uh, probably it will uh, uh, come the desired pH. So once uh, added, so that you can see the media color is a uh, little bit changing. While adding the um, alkaline solution, so you'll, uh, you'll see a lot of uh, um, the reddish color. If it is a pale uh, a yellow, or straw yellow is indicates uh, which is uh, 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 acidic pH because uh, this uh, uh, it composed of uh, phenol red. The phenol red is a pH indicator. If it is a uh, uh, alkaline condition, is uh, more uh, uh, purple in color. Or if it is a new, uh, nearly a slight alkaline, it's reddish color. If it is a uh, goes for the um, uh, acidic condition, it's the yellowish color. So it's now it's a uh, reddish color. Is a slight alkalinity, so uh, I added one ml. So I'm, I'm going to add one more ml. You can uh, see the change of color. So once um, uh, the change of color, so you can check back again the pH. Once the pH is uh, uh, properly uh, adjusted, we can ready to go for the filter. So we can check the pH a little bit now. Uh, again. Now the pH is uh, 7.3 or 7.35. Uh, this will be good while um, filtering that the pH little bit increase of 0.1 or 0.2. So this uh, physiological pH 7.3 uh, to 7.35 is good. So you can uh, take this one and then go for the filtration. The filtration uh, which is composed of 0.2 micron filter that will filter any microbes is there or any other spores it will be filtered completely so uh, now uh, we are going to filter this uh, media uh, this one is a lambda airflow food uh, uh, it's always uh, uh, don't allow any particles inside uh, it will allow only the few we are inside we are going to filter this media inside the uh, lambda airflow food so this um, yeah, this one is a uh, um, a filtration apparatus uh, is uh, which is composed inside there is a uh, 0.2 micron uh, filter uh, filter this 0.2 uh, micron filter they it won't allow any bacteria fungal or any, any other microbes uh, we can use this uh, filtration unit uh, this two uh, this is a one liter this is a 200 uh, uh, ml of bottles so this is a sterile bottle it's autoclaved uh, steam sterilized bottle. We can fit it with this uh, filtration unit into the bottle. So gently we can fit it. Once uh, fit it down, so we can ready to uh, filter. We need to connect this one uh, filtration unit in the vacuum pump. So this is the vacuum pump. Uh, it's fitted together. So we have to gently fit it. So once uh, take that one, we can pour inside uh, in the filtration unit. Find a ml.
So once um, the filtration is happening, the media is uh, filtration happening, it's going on. Just so we can put it on the lid, so you can remove one um, plastic knob and uh, take it out. And we can, uh, this one is ready to filter. Once uh, uh, filter this one, we need to add up a uh, 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 antibiotic. For example, one percent uh, penicillin uh, streptomycin. Uh, we are going to add it. After that, uh, we need to add uh, serum. It's a fecal bovine serum. We have the um, uh, fetal uh, bovine serum. So we have we, we split it this uh, fetal uh, once uh, thawed, we can uh, split it to be uh, a small small uh, vials TML. Um, this one is uh, already um, uh, split because uh, we need to take it out uh, different different uh, uh, so, uh, uh, vials. Uh, we, we, we will avoid the contamination. So this one is a uh, fetal uh, bovine serum from this bottle. Um, so we, uh, once filtered, we can add one percent uh, uh, antibiotics, either penicillin or streptomycin, together, and also this uh, uh, fetal bovine serum. The media is ready for the suck. So uh, once this filtration is done, we are going to add uh, this uh, 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 components. Okay, now is uh, filtration is going to be completed. Uh, once completed, we can uh, stop this one and then uh, take it out. Then uh, prepare the or media along with this uh, antibiotic. Uh, this is uh, uh, one person. Uh, uh, we are going to add penicillin and streptomycin. So the atom is uh, we can remove it. Uh, once remove it, uh, we can uh, ready to go for the next uh, bottle of. Uh, this filter uh, will uh, we can filter uh, up to uh, one liter of media. After that, uh, uh, the filtration capacity is reduced, and then uh, we need to uh, take one more filter. Right. So this one is uh, go for the next uh, bottle. So now we can prepare uh, this media. Uh, so we can add a serum. This is a uh, 450 ml of media. And along with that, uh, 50 ml of uh, serum, we are going to add it. That's a 10% uh, uh, fetal uh, bovine serum. This 10% uh, uh, bovine serum is essential for the cellular uh, growth. This 10% uh, uh, bovine serum is uh, helpful uh, for the uh, cellular growth because it, the serum composed of a lot of uh, uh, proteins, uh, growth factors, uh, uh, and hormones, uh, it will be helpful for the uh, cell growth. Uh, uh, along with that, 1% um, uh, antibiotic, penicillin, streptomycin, we are going to, uh, we are adding now. So, once added, so now is a complete media is ready. This is a RPMA composed of 1% uh, penicillin, streptomycin uh, and 10% uh, fetal bovine serum. Now this media is ready to use the cell culture for whatever the cell culture recommendations. Uh, uh, this one we are going to use the ovarian cancer cells uh, uh, and also uh, the, the pancreatic cancer cells uh, and breast cancer cells. So whatever the type of cells requirement, we can uh, change the type of media. I already showed uh, we can use uh, different kind of media. For example, minimum machine cell medium. Uh, Dalvikov modified medium and then uh, DMEM F12. This is a different combination of the nutrients required for different type of culture. That's why you can choose whatever the media or recommendation for the culture in the cells. They can do so. So I think uh, this video will help you to understand more how to prepare the media. So if you have any uh, clarification, please uh, let me know. I can make it uh, clarify you. I'm very happy to clarify you. So. Um, I like to get your feedback if you if you need anything else. Thank you very much.